We don't even talk anymore. We don't even know what we are talking about. Never say I love you no more. Say it out here is no longer a lie. Why do we hurt each other? Why do we throw each other away? Let's go into the water and die. We might watch our whole lives have a night. Let's go into the water and die. We'll make the biggest mistakes of our lives. Don't do it, baby. What's up guys, Sean here. So we're in this low lighting situation. We're in a parking garage, just pouring down rain. We got water dripping. We got a lot of things going on. And one of my biggest complaints about this camera so far has been the fact that it can't focus on me. It's constantly breathing in and out. It's constantly playing around. I've got it on my light stand, which is kind of wobbling a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna put this through a stress test. But one of my viewers um, mentioned in one of the comments that if you lock the exposure, it fixes the breathing, okay? So we're gonna do a breathing test. <sighs> oh yeah, no, not that kind of breathing test. We're gonna go through and we're gonna see if we can fix this situation, right? Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna start recording my screen. Okay guys, so we're recording my screen, so hopefully you guys can see that there's a green rectangle around my face that means that it's going to track me wherever i go okay guys which is pretty awesome if this cam if i can get this camera to work it's going to be amazing um sound is good uh you can tell that the exposure is blown out in the background but it's still tracking me um so the plan is to get this thing to work i'm going to walk all the way back here And it's still tracking me, guys. So I'm gonna come over here. Pretty good. So if I can get the breathing and the, the auto exposure to stop freaking out all the time, this camera is amazing. If I can't get the focus to stop breathing in and out and freaking out, it's an unusable camera for me, okay? Even though I've been using it for the last month or two, I've really been just trying to figure out how to use it. Okay, guys? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, we're gonna cancel out of the tracking, and as you can see, when you cancel out of the tracking, then you get this auto exposure thing. So it should be exposing to whatever it's tracking, I would think. But if you hold down on the screen and lock the exposure, okay. Nope. So you can't, oh, maybe. All right, so let's see if it kept the exposure. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, so it looks like the exposure is locked, guys. And I'm standing by this waterfall. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, guys. All right, guys, so this is a standard shot. I'd be walking around. I would be talking and things are gonna move in the background of my shot. There's gonna be leaves, there's gonna be wind, there's gonna be, in this case, water. Um, all those situations, if it knows where my face is, it needs to focus on that. People are saying, you know, you walked out of the shot and I'm gonna say to that, that's irrelevant whether I walked in and out of the shot. If, it, if it's continually tracking me, it should focus on me. Okay, so I'm walking around. This is just gonna be a quick test, guys. Never done a parking garage video before. I'm constantly worried I'm gonna get run over. 
So I wanted to fly my drone. I haven't been able to fly my drone in a week. So it's been kind of crappy weather. It was actually nice weather yesterday, but it was so windy that my pair of Naku was just blown into the building. So tracking is working well, guys. I really wish I could get this tracking to work um, in 4K, 60 frames per second. That would be awesome. But I get it. It's a tiny camera. It doesn't have... There's a lot of good stuff in this camera, but it doesn't do everything, right guys? Um, so, so far it's doing pretty good. So this has been a test right here of me locking in the exposure. Now we're gonna do the same thing without the exposure lock and see if that makes a difference. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna expose on my face. We're gonna track my face. And then we're gonna walk around. And let me know if you see a lot of breathing in this in this video. So over here, I mean it's not a it's not a crazy lighting situation right here, guys. It's low light, but I'm not moving. And it knows where my face is. Well it's tracking on me, so it should put a focal point distance right in the middle of my face. Okay? We're gonna walk over here. It's interesting, it didn't fix the exposure. It lost me, but it didn't fix the exposure. Well, okay, so it completely lost me over there, guys. So let's come back over here. I'm gonna draw a rectangle around me again. All right. And we're gonna go over in the, then the backlight and see if it loses me again. So what it's doing is it's trying to fix this light up here and it's not doing a good job of lighting me. In my opinion, it should lock whatever's in the, in the tracking. Whatever it's tracking, it should be lighting that situation. And I don't even know what just happened there. Let me get in it. Nope. All right. I'm gonna draw a rectangle around me again and I'm gonna Brighten my face. We're gonna lock it there. Actually, I'm gonna lock it right there. Oh, nope, I didn't lock it, did I? Fix that lighting situation right there. Let's lock it there. I'm overexposed, but we're gonna try it. This will be a very interesting audio test as well, guys. So it's tracking me good. So just like the unique, or sorry, so just like the DJI Mavic Pro, when they came out, everybody was having focusing issues. And they didn't realize that um, they had built in a feature that it, you could focus on things. And so you had to tap the screen to pick what you were gonna focus on before you took off or else all of your drone footage would be blurry. So this might be a feature that DJI put into this camera that we just don't know about. So locking the exposure might be a way to keep that hunting from going on. Because I'm thinking back to some of the videos that I've done um, with the DJI Osmo Pocket on my Segway, going past trees. And there's a lot of different lighting situations going on. When you're passing trees and lights coming through the branches, you know, that, that exposure change could drastically affect what's going on. So, This might be a fix for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I hope you guys like this test. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications of when I put other videos out. And have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.